Today we're gonna to take a look at scanning this boat behind me with the Artec Ray. And we're gonna do that using a app on our iPhone. So using the Artec Ray mobile app that's available for iOS devices, uh, you can see it's relatively simple to use. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is create a preview of our part, which is gonna do a preliminary scan around our room uh, or our area that we're going to be scanning in order to give us a uh, visual indication of what the scanning system can see to allow us to be able to select certain areas that we want to generate scan data off of. Uh, so you can see it gives us this full 360 degree image that we can now take and go and select specific areas to scan. So going into our selection tool, it's really simple. We can just box select particular areas that we want to scan. We can also use various circle selections as well to add or remove areas that we want scan data. From there, we can change out the sensitivity that we use on the system, as well as the point density in both our horizontal and vertical point spacing, as well as we can enable or disable uh, capturing texture off of our part. Once we've gone through and set up all of these parameters, now we have the ability to just press scan and let the system do its job. So we can watch the scanning process on the mobile app if we so choose. Uh, however, everything is saved to a micro SD card on the Artec Ray. So you don't actually have to sit here and watch the system scan. It'll go through and complete everything that we've asked it to do. And once that's done, the scan file will be saved directly to that micro SD card, which we can take over to our scan processing software such as Artec Studio.